Hey everyone, welcome to another session by Simply Learn. In this session, we will understand the difference between Java and .NET. Let's look at today's agenda. We'll first begin with understanding what is Java, following which we will understand what is .NET. Then we will look at the comparison between .NET and Java on the following parameters, that is, fundamentals, languages, operating systems, IDEs, libraries, performance, versions, licensing, and jobs and salaries. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon, so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. What is Java? Java is a programming language and computing platform. There are lots of applications and websites that will not work unless you have Java installed in it. Java was first released by Sun Microsystems in 1995 and the Oracle Corporation later acquired it. Java software platform runs on the billions of devices, including notebook computers, mobiles, devices, gaming consoles, medical devices and many others. Java is widely used object-oriented programming language. The rules and syntax of Java are based on the C and C++ languages. Java is fast, secure and reliable. From laptops to data centers, game consoles to scientific supercomputers, cell phones to the internet, Java is everywhere. Java is a multi-platform, object-oriented and network-centric language. It is among the most used programming language. Now let us understand what is .NET. .NET is a free, cross-platform, open-source developer framework for building many different types of applications. .NET Core is a cross-platform that supports Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Microsoft began developing .NET framework in the late 1990s. By early 2000, the first beta version of .NET 1.0 were released. With .NET, you can use multiple languages, editors, libraries to build web, mobile, desktop, games and IoT applications. We can write .NET apps in C Sharp, F Sharp or Visual Basic. Whether you are working in C Sharp, F Sharp or Visual Basic, the code will run natively on any compatible OS. .NET Standard is a base set of APIs that are common to all .NET implementations. Nugget is a package manager built specifically for .NET that contains over 90,000 packages. Now let us look at the comparison between Java and .NET. The first parameter is the fundamentals. Java is a programming language and computing platform that was first released by Sun Microsystems in 1995. Java is widely used object-oriented programming language and software platform that runs on billions of devices, including computers, mobiles, medical devices and many others. Whereas .NET Framework is free, cross-platform, open source framework for building different applications. By early 2000, the first beta version of .NET 1.0 was released. The next parameter is languages. Java itself is a programming language. However, Java Virtual Machine supports other programming languages like Python, R and Ruby. With .NET, we can use multiple languages. We can write .NET apps in C Sharp, F Sharp and Visual Basic. Operating System Java can work on different operating systems like Microsoft Windows, the Solaris operating system, Linux or Mac OS. Whereas .NET works only on Windows operating system, that is Windows 98 or later, Windows NT 4.0 or later. Integrated Development Environment Java uses IDEs like Eclipse, BlueJ, IntelliJ IDEA, JGrasp, JCreator, NetBeans, Greenfoot, and JDeveloper. And in .NET, IDEs like Autumn, Bracket, 
sublime text, ICMAS, and WIM are used, but the most common one is Visual Studio. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. The next parameter is libraries. The Java class library is set of dynamically loaded libraries that Java virtual machine languages can call at runtime. A Java library is just a collection of classes that have been written by somebody else. Some of the libraries used in Java are Apache Commons, Google Guava, and Jackson. Whereas in .NET Framework, class library is the collection of classes, namespaces, interfaces, and value types that are used for .NET applications. Class libraries are shared library concept for .NET. Some of the .NET libraries are Swashbuckle, Poly, Automapper, and Saskit. Performance Java's efficiency is from just-in-time compiler and concurrency capabilities. The just-in-time compiler is a part of the Java runtime environment. The compiled code is immediately called by Java Virtual Machine. Compiling does not require processing time or memory use because the code is not interpreted. As a result, Java program is as quick as native application. Whereas in .NET, .NET uses natively compiled languages like C Sharp and C++. They are faster and less memory consuming than Java. .NET also enables optimizing the code and writing less code which increases the performance. The shorter the code also means less effort spent on the code maintenance and easier debugging. Versions in Java, the first beta version was released in 1995, following which the version 1.0 was released in Jan 1996 and so on. The most recent versions was Java SE 16 released in March 2021 and 5 months later Java SE 17 was released on September 2021 and it's likely that on March 2022 Java SE 18 will be released. In .NET, the first version 1.0 was released on 15 Jan 2002 and the most recent version released is version 4.8 on 18th April 2019. Now let us look at the licensing of Java and .NET. Since the Java 8 update on April 16, 2019, all versions and update for Java above 8 has no cost for personal use and development purposes, but any other use needs a commercial license. Whereas in .NET, .NET is free open source developer platform with no licensing cost and free development tools for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. There are no licensing costs including commercial use. Lastly, we will look at jobs and salaries. There are over 3,16,715 Java developers currently employed in United States. Whereas in .NET, there are over 2,54,189 .NET developers currently employed in United States. The average salary for a Java developer in India is 4,61,000. Whereas the average salary for a .NET developer in India is 4,14,000. The average salary for Java developer in United States is $76,000. Whereas the average salary for a .NET developer in United States is $72,000. Now let us see when to use Java and .NET. Java is suitable for web projects big data and GUI applications. Java is used as server-side language for back-end development. Java is also used for embedded systems, Android applications and web applications. Because Java is portable, you may choose which operating system you want to work on. This adaptability allows to select tools 
without having to worry about compatibility difficulties. .NET is used to build for web, mobile, desktop, games and IoT. .NET is also used for web applications, client applications and enterprise development. .NET has taken over for web services and APIs. It is mostly preferred for Windows API service. So with that we have reached the end of this video. Like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.